This is the Molapirier Dam. This dam has existed since before our grandparents were born. The present condition of Molapirier is such that it may collapse at any moment. What is the Kerala Tamil Nadu dispute over Molapirier? Is the dam likely to break? Or if the dam breaks, how quickly will it lead to a disaster? This is a detailed 3D visualization of how many districts this disaster can destroy. Mullapirir Dam is located in the state of Kerala, India. For more than 100 years, this dam has provided vital power and irrigation to Kerala and the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu. But this 54-meter i.e. 177 feet high dam will not last long. As the design and technology of the dam is 100 years old, the possibility of failure anytime is very high. It was built by John Pennycook between 1887 and 1895 when the British government decided to divert water eastward to serve the farmers of the Madras Presidency, now Tamil Nadu. An agreement for water sharing was signed between the Pandya kings who ruled Madurai and the erstwhile kingdom of Travancore, and that agreement has now become the cause of conflict between Kerala and Tamil Nadu. With the drought of that period taking its toll on both people and livestock, the Madras Presidency under British rule tried to divert Periyar as the Madurai Kingdom faced severe water shortages. The ruler of Kochi Kingdom initially opposed the water diversion project as he feared that the dam would affect the flow of goods and people through Periyar to the Arabian Sea. On October 29, 1886, Elise was executed between the Maharaja of Travancore and the British Secretary of India for the Periyar Irrigation Works for a period of 999 years. The Secretary of State for India was granted full right, power and liberty to make and execute leases of land. After independence and state reconstruction, Kerala and Tamil Nadu were born, and the Kerala state government declared that the agreement signed earlier between the British Raj and Travancore was null and void and needed to be renewed. After several failed attempts to renew the agreement in 1958, 1960 and 1969, the agreement was renewed in 1970 when Sia Kuthamenon was the chief minister of Kerala. Kerala pointed out the injustice of the lease agreement of 1886 and questioned its validity. However, this 128-year-old dam is a threat to the safety of the people of Kerala, a point of contention since 2009. The area where Mullapirir stands is prone to earthquakes. So it is a fact that a disaster is waiting for us anytime. Earthquakes in 1979 and 2011 caused structural cracks in the dam. The Mullapirir Dam is still in dispute and litigation with the Tamil Nadu Kerala government threatening the lives of millions of people. First, let's see how Mullayar and Periyar become Mullapiriyar. What you are seeing now are the western hills that share the borders of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Beyond the mountains is Tamil Nadu and beyond is Kerala. Mullayar and Periyar started from these mountains. They combine to form Mullapiriyar. Mullayar begins to flow from Katamala like small palm leaves. Flowing between the mountain ranges, the tributaries gradually become rivers. It is in this visible, lake-like area that Mullayar and Periyar merge into one to form Mullapiriyar. Periyar originates from this visible, Chakampati mountain. Like the Mullayar, the Periyar originates as a tributary and gradually becomes a river. Mullayar and Periyar merge into one and form Mullapiriyar downstream from here. In this scene, we can see how big water source Mullapiriyar becomes when two rivers join together. The Mullapiriyar Dam, which is over 100 years old, holds back such a huge source of water. This dam is constructed using lime and brick dust. It means that today's modern concrete system is not. Mullapiriyar Dam is located in Kamali Grama Panchayat, Piramidu Taluk, Idukki District. Thekadi Periyar Vanya Wildlife Sanctuary is located near the Mullapiriyar Dam. A certain amount of water from the same reservoir is used for agriculture and power generation in Tamil Nadu. Water is transported to Tamil Nadu using penstock pipe. 
This dam has a height of 53.6 meters or 176 feet and a length of 365.7 meters or 1,200 feet. The top of the dam is 3.6 meters or 12 feet wide and the base is 42.2 meters or 138 feet wide. Mullapirir has 13 spillways with a width of 42.2 meters i.e. 138 feet. The total storage capacity is 3,454.62 cubic meters slash second. The total depth of the water is 43.281 meters i.e. 142 feet. Or if the Mullapirir Dam fails, the trapped water will start flowing through these parts. In this way, the stormy water will flow through this area, breaking down the mountains. The water that reaches the prey first goes to the Valakotov and Vandapirir areas. About 2,770 people live in Vandapirir, Valadava area, 14 kilometers from Mullapirir. Then from there the water flows forward through Shandarvanam, Kalakandam, Naladi, Aputhara, and Ayapankavel. This view is the way to Adukki Dam. In this scene, we can see the depth of water getting closer to Adukki Dam. The inflowing water then reaches the Adukki Dam, which is the largest reservoir in Kerala, seven times the size of the Mullapirir Dam. Adukki Dam is located at Paina in Vazathop Gram Panchayat. The 555 feet high Adukki Dam is built in the middle of the 839 meter high Karuvan Mala and the 925 meter high Karuthi Mala. Idukki Reservoir consists of three dams, namely Arch Dam, Churathoni Dam, and Kolomov Dam. It has shutters for small dam. Five shutters of this dam were opened during the 2018 flood. At that time, we saw that many parts of Ernakulam district were submerged in water. Among these three dams, Arch Dam is the strongest. Similarly, Kulameo Dam is the most impoverished. Perhaps if the Adukki dams fail to hold back the water coming from the Mullapirir dam, or if the shutters are left open and the water rushes, what will happen to Kerala? In Adukki dam, the water that starts flowing from Churathoni dam flows to a place called Churathoni. About 19,200 people live here. When the shutters were raised during the 2018 floods, the area was submerged. In the flood of that day, Cherathoni Bridge and nearby areas were partially destroyed. Now it is a new bridge. Then the water reaches the residential area of Tadiambad. From there water reaches Chinnar through Karimban. From there, the water reaches the lower Periyar Dam or Pambla Dam. Together with the water from this dam, the Periyar flowed ahead and reached Thadakad, the eastern region of Ernakulam district and the western region of Adukki district. This is where the Kutan Puza from the northeast, the Ida Malayar from the north and the Periyar from the southwest meet. Three evergreen forests are located here. Many species of animals and birds live here. Then the water flowing from here reaches Buthathankat Dam in Ernakulam district. The water flows from here to the Malayadar part of Ernakulam district itself. The population here is around 1783. Then the water flows to Kaladi, Nedambasari, and Parambavur areas. Now you see Nedambasari Airport. Then the water flows to Aluva, where the population is the highest. From here, Periyar bifurcates in two directions. One to Thrissur and two to Ernakulam. The water flowing from Aluva to Thrissur on the right joins the Chalkudi River and falls into the Arabian Sea via Chengamnad, Chenamangalam and Katapuram. The water flowing to the left from Aluva falls into the Arabian Sea by Apulianor, Adyar, Alangad, Warapuza, and Katamakudi. Now we are going to see the condition that will be created if the Kalama Dam, another part of the Adukki Dam, collapses. This most vulnerable dam has no shutters and therefore no upstream rivers. But the water coming from the Mullapirir Dam may breach the Kulameo Dam. If that happens, the water will rush forward by breaking the visible mountains. Then the water flows to Araculum, Kanjar, Kudayathar, Kalapra, and Mudam through Thadupazayar to Malankara Dam. Apart from this route, water may also travel through Karapalangad and Panamadam. The water flowing forward from Malankara Dam then reaches Thodupuzha in Adukki district. From here, water may enter Kumarmangalam. 
Venapurum and Caniculum areas. Then it reaches Trivini Sangam through Mavatupusha in Ernakulam district via Kunafpura, Kathalakad, the Kumala, Arakusa, Bazakulam, Nadukara, Purumbalar South and Anakad. The population here is more than 30,000. From here, water may enter Pudupati and Kothamangalam areas. Then the water flowing in advance reaches the Vembanath backwater via Marazzi, Makatumpa, Mylatumpara, Valakam, Paravamuzi, Karakapilli, Ramamangalam, Piravam and Vicom. The water flowing forward through the backwaters flows into the Arabian Sea via Echupuna, Thuravar, Palipuram, Patanakad, Cherthala, Arthunkal, Marariculum, Kainagiri and Alapuza. If the Adukki dam breaks, Kotayam will only be partially affected. But the part you are seeing is the place where the landslide occurred on the Matamaculum hilltop. Matamalayar originates from here. When the water from Mullapirir Dam reaches Matamalayat, 47 kilometers from the dam, it reaches the area called Kudakal via Islandkad and Entair. The population of this place is more than 12,000. Then the water flowing forward reaches Mundakayath, which has a population of about 25,000. From there the water flowing forward reaches Arumalai, with a population of about 44,000 through Karate. Then it reaches Manamala, with a population of about 26,000 via Vitsikamto, Chenapati, and Shara Valley. Then it reaches Molapoli, with a population of around 135,000 via Velavar, Vedakara, and Layavur. Then it reaches Tiruvalla via Thiruthakad, Viniculum and Iraviparur. The population here is around 295,000. Then the water flowing forward falls into the Vembanat backwater via Nadumparam, Chakulathgav, Katangara, Kutnad, Ramankari, Punakunam, Mankam, Chenangiri and Kainagiri. From there, to the Arabian Sea. If the Mullapirir Dam bursts, it will reach Adupki, Ernakulam, Kotayam, Alapuza, Pathanamthitta, and Thrissur districts by the duration of this video. Let the problems be resolved as soon as possible and the problem of the dam be solved, let not even a single life become food for the Arabian Sea.